This monument in Tiga K has sparked controversy that got national attention. After backlash over covering the word Lord on it, the city removed the monument only to later bring it back. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Bruno just uncovered a chain of emails surrounding this controversy. It was one of the most controversial stories out of Tiga K in years. The decision to plaster over the word Lord on a fallen officer's memorial outside the city police department and then eventually remove the monument altogether. In July, the Tiga K Women's Club gifted police the monument. On the 12th, a resident emailed the mayor and Tiga K leaders saying in part, I believe it gives an impression that one segment of our population is recognized above others in our community. Mayor David O'Neill responded back saying monuments of this kind have a long-standing tradition in respecting and tolerating different views. To which the person who made the complaint said, sorry Dave, a biblical scripture on a public building is not appropriate. A little more than a week later when the city decided to remove the monument, hundreds of complaints from across the country and internationally started to pour into the inboxes of city leaders. A man from West Fargo, North Dakota said, I read with despair the story of your little town that has rejected God by literally scrubbing his name off a monument. And a man from Winnipeg, Canada wrote, I really hope you treat the officers in your city with some respect, but after this move, I doubt it. The city eventually reversed course and ordered the monument back in its original state. After that decision, a few emails, like this one from a woman in Tallahassee saying, I just want to say thank you for reversing your decision. God bless you. Joe Bruno, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.